Hello everybody, I forgot to mention this in the video, so I'm going to mention it now and put it before the actual first episode of the playthrough. I want to thank Owen or Gion here on YouTube for gifting me this game. We did a dirty deal. He had $10 on his PayPal, or something like $10 on his PayPal. So he bought the game on G2A, gave me the Steam CD code, or whatever the hell it's called, and then I got Skyrim that way. And in return, I gave him two games on Steam that were the same price. I think like Skyrim came up to like $8.41 in Canadian dollars. So I bought him that much games with that amount or whatever. I bought him video vlogger story because he said he wanted that. And there was still a dollar that needed to be returned to him. So I bought him Bad Rats. And yeah. So thank you, Owen, for being a GR8 mate. I rate 808 IGN memes. <laughs> Hello everybody, today I'm going to be starting my Elder Scrolls Skyrim Let's Play. This is my like second time doing this. I made one and it had like five episodes. I didn't like the way it turned out, so I decided to delete those. I'm going to start over. This is recorded on, what is this? June 23rd, Shadowplay or NVIDIA G4 shit, whatever. Just got an update and it updated the audio mic audio quality for Shadowplay. So hopefully it's still good. I have the NVIDIA thing on the sound mixer set to 50 and I have Skyrim set to 100. Hopefully that sounds good. I thought like maybe 50-50 would be good. I tried that and you couldn't hear the game at all, basically. And then I decided to turn Skyrim up to 100 and now you can hear like both me and Skyrim. I'm still not exactly sure like what it does like if turning nvidia down makes you quieter makes you louder or turning it up makes you louder or quieter usually i play about 50 50 on my dead island one i think it's like 46 56 so it's only 10 down nvidia is at 46 and dead island is at 56 it, j it just seems to work well anyway let's get right into this shit i'm not gonna talk during any cutscenes. oh i should also mention this is technically vanilla Skyrim. I do have two mods. I have one that, like, literally, they're not even game changers, basically. Like, it doesn't even really, you probably won't even notice. So, one is it makes the embers better in fire. So, like, literally, that does nothing. And the other one is uh, during, like, the finishers, there's no blur. Because I just want to see if that's going to be cool or not. If I don't like it, then I'll turn it off. I probably won't do anything with the ember one because like literally that's such a small thing. The only time I'll ever notice that is when I'm like in fire forging or something. Anyway, let's start this. I'm not talking during any cutscenes. I'm also playing on high. I can run the game on ultra, but if something intense happens, the frames do drop a little bit low and I don't want that. So I just turn it on high. So it's basically a constant 50-60. Bethesda Game Studios presents The Elder Scrolls 5 Sky Meme Fine, young gentleman. If I do say so myself. Hey, you. You're finally awake. As I, I'm gonna do one thing and turn on subtitles because I like subtitles. I'm also playing this with a 360 controller because I cannot use a keyboard and mouse whatsoever. Where the hell are subtitles? I know they're in here. Okay. Yeah, it'd be an audio, wouldn't it? No? It'd be in display. Okay, we're gonna have dialogue subtitles. We're not gonna have like general subtitles. You were trying to cross the border, right? Okay, never mind. I guess we are having general subtitles. Oh fucking hell! Just turn them both on. Walk right into that okay, I guess they're still not on. I never knew turning on subtitles was such a big problem. And let's turn off general subtitles. I think general subtitles is like when someone goes to hit and like it says Hurrah! like it it puts the sound they're making in the subtitles. Damn you, Stormcloaks. 
Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and lazy. They hadn't been looking for you. They'd stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell. You there, you and me, we shouldn't be here. It's the storm cloaks the Empire wants. My subtitles should be here, but they're not. Brothers and sisters in binds now. Shut up back there. What's wrong with him, huh? Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. Ulfric? Jarl of Windhelm? You're the leader of the rebellion. But they've captured you. Oh, gods. Where are they taking us? I don't know where we're going. But Sovereign Guard awaits. No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. Hey, what village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts should be of home. Rorikstead. I'm... I'm from Rorikstead. General Talia, sir. The headsman is waiting. Good. Let's get this over with. Sure. Mara, Dibella, Kinnereth, Akatasha, Divines, please help me. General Tully is the military governor, and it looked like the Dalmor are with him. Damn elves. I bet they had something to do with this. For this playthrough, I'm probably gonna choose Khajiit. This is Helgen. I used to be sweet on a girl from here. I wonder if Vilod is still making that mead with Juniper Berries. Steve. Funny, when I was a boy, the imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so safe. Why? I want to watch the soldiers. Inside the house. Why are we stopping? Why do you think? End of the line. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. No, wait! We're not rebels! Face your death with some courage, thief. You've got to tell them! We worked with you! This is a mistake! Step towards the block when we call your name. One at a time! Empire loves their damn lists. Ulfric Stormcloak, Jarl of Windhelm. It has been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. Greylock of Riverwood. No care of Rorik's death. No, I'm not a rebel. You can't do this. You gotta go fast. Sanic speed. Rip. Wait. You there. Step four. Hey, how you doing? Who are you? Alright, so for this playthrough we're probably gonna pick Khajiit. My playstyle is like I like to wear heavy armor, but I also like to run around with the bow. So like like I'm a I'm a warrior, if that's a a type of playthrough. Like I'll use a bow, but I'll also use double-handed weapons because I think they're nice. So we're gonna pick Khajiit. Back on the Xbox 360 where I have, I think, almost 200 hours on one character, I chose Argonian, and Argonians are pretty cool, but I'm not gonna choose an Argonian for this one, I'm gonna choose Khajiit. So I'm gonna get making my character, and when I'm done making my character, I'll be back. All right, everyone. My character is done. I basically just decided to go for like uh, a tigery look. I didn't know if I wanted to do like a, a white tiger or an orange tiger, so I just decided to go with an orange one because I'm cool. So let's name our character. On the Xbox 360, I named my character Retro. I don't know. It just sounded cool. So um, f for this. I'll name him. So I decided to name him Frosted because he kind of looks like Tony the Tiger from Frosted Flakes. 
But as I was naming him this, I was like, does that sound really... Doesn't doesn't sound like it should work because frosted sounds more like, like snow, like white, because like frost, white, and all that. And he's not white; he's orange. So I don't know if I wanted to name him Frosted, Tune, or Retro. I'll I'll just name him Frosted. You with one of the trade caravans, Keji? Your kind always seems to find trouble. Captain, what should we do? He's not on the list. Forget the list. He goes to the block. By your orders, Captain. I'm sorry. We'll make sure your men are turned to elsewhere. Follow the Captain, prisoner. Ulfric Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero. But a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos, and now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. What was it? It's nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Ethereus, blessings of the eight divines upon For the love of Talos, shut up oh, and let's get this over. Learn up as you wish. Come on, I haven't got all morning. My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. You say the same. Rip. You Imperian bastard! Justin! Death to the Stormcloak! As fearless in death as he was in life. Next, the cat! I'm more than just a cat. There it is again. Did you hear that? I said, next prisoner! To the block prisoner. Nice and easy. Delicious. Okay. Did anyone else see that? It like was flashing there for a second. I don't remember it ever doing that. I don't think it's supposed to do that. But whatever. What are with these weird lighting effects? I don't ever remember it looking like this. Did those mods do something? Did they break my fucking game? Jump through the roof and keep going. Eh. Let's go. Yeah, I forgot why is the jump. I was pressing A. It's been a while. Look at that kid. I hope he gets eaten. Spook. Oh my, it's a nice wing. Alright, my subtitles still aren't working. Why? Why are they not working? I'll even turn on general subtitles because maybe that's the one that I need. Okay, that's probably why, yeah. I didn't have on general subtitles. We're gonna go this way. Because we're cool. Some like crazy lighting stuff. Like, what is this? It's not supposed to be doing that. I feel like it's the mods. Oh my, that's fucking weird. It is not supposed to be like that. Alright, this is kind of fucking annoying. Let me go turn off those mods. Let's wait for him to finish talking. We better get moving. Come here. 
me see if I can get those bindings off. Okay, I'll save it here and then go turn that shit off. Okay, the lighting is no longer fucked up. I turned off the realistic ember one, but I kept on the no blur. And it seems to be looking better. This is much better. Yeah. We're all good now, I believe. I kept on the no blur one, though. Because I want to see what that one looks like. Let's take all this guy's stuff. get that armor on and let's equip this oh boy looking fresh ooh spooky enemies there's like a dragon out there I don't think worrying about me escaping is really that important considering I wasn't even supposed to be on that list but whatever, it's all good. Alright. This axe is kind of ass, if I do say so myself. Die. Alright, let's take their stuff. Everything they've got. Alright. Let's take this person with us. You know. Oh. Alright, I'm going to equip some better clothing which they have so I'll take that and I'll wear that and I'll wear that alright um, let's drop this and this I'm just dropping things that aren't very good let's drop that let's drop that alright there we go we're looking good we've actually got a full set of armor let's take this cabbage oh wait also, I got a new weapon from them. So let's equip. Okay, never mind. They're both as good. Hey, let's do this. There. Now we have dual wield swords, which I'll probably never do because I'm not really a big dual wielding person. Except for daggers. I may dual wield daggers, but swords, I like never dual wield those. You can't see me. Oh no. I can't block though, which kind of sucks, but... That's why, I, that's why I don't like two-handed weapons. You can't block. Or not two-handed weapons, but dual wield. You can't block. Nice. Alright, they have nothing worth taking. I'll take this. Or oh, shit, I'm about to take the bow. I think I took a sword by accident. Okay, let's take their potions and all. Some gold. I love how in this game you can literally take everything great like I'll take this rabbit mmm high definition oh jeez yum I wanna see what that uh, that friggin no blur thing does why do I have one arrow but no bow that, that's weird Maybe I'll get a bow around here somewhere. Torture. Stamina low. Your stamina is low, which may prevent you from sprinting or using power attacks. Drink a potion or wait for it to recover. Torture. More like meme. Oh jeez, I just did a power attack and I hit the cage. Die. Alright, nice. Yeah, that seems pretty good. I'll keep the no blur on because it doesn't really, it's not affecting any other textures like the ember one was. I don't know if that was because of the ember one or if because something was just wrong. But I feel like it was because of the ember thing. Alright, do any of these people have a lockpick? Yeah, I don't think they have any. And iron dagger. Let's take this book too because books are always cool. Let's take this shield as well. Uh, I'll take the iron mace. More books and stuff. Wait, was, were those lock picks? Yeah, I'll take the lock picks. All right, now let's pick lock this. All right, I I know how to do this. Boom! Didn't even break a pick. 
Let's take this stuff just because it looks cool. Let's take that. Let's take all this. And there's nothing in that one. There's nothing in that one. I don't think there's anything in there. Yeah, there's nothing in any of those. There's a gold purse in there, so I'll take that. Or a coin purse. Oh, fuck. There we go. Some dank stuff. Take the bone meal and gold off of that bad boy. Rip better embers, because it doesn't work. Anyway, let's go. Oh, I just took rags. I didn't mean... I thought that that was like a skeleton. I was going to get some gold and bone meal, but no. I got shitty rags. Hey. Pickpocket you. Hey, never mind. Do I have a bow yet? I still don't have a bow. <coughs> Just look at my weapons again for a second. This does 9, or this does 10 damage. So I'll take that. And then in this hand, I'll put a shield. I like never use shields either, since I always use two handed weapons. Alright. Like, I'll never have a shield. Like, I'll never use a shield, but I'll always carry a shield with me. Alright, we got a bow. Let's test this piece of shit beginner bow out. Oh yeah. Can't even aim. I'm so used to aiming and have it go slow-mo. Oh yeah. That's a good bow. Great bow. Nice. I want my arrows back. Now let's let's no scope this bad boy. I missed. I'm a disappointment. Boom. Oh nice, I hit him. It did like no damage. Ah oh, shit. How did that miss? He's moving and stuff. It's messing me up honestly. I mean I'm also moving too, so it's kinda making it a little bit less accurate. Alright, that hit. That totally hit. Are you fucking kidding me? Come on, hit. There we go. Oh, I didn't even get a cool slow-mo kill. That was the only reason I was using this piece of shit. Well, let's go back to this. And this. Let's take my arrows back. Lame. Phew. Yeah. The no blur mod thing. I'm pretty sure that only added no blur. It didn't add any, like, new kill things. Because I don't, I don't think there's any new ones. So I know there's a lot of mods out there that add new finishers, and I don't think the blur mod adds new finishers, it just adds no blur. So I'm going to end this video after I get out of this cave here. Yeah, you're supposed to go that way, I'm pretty sure, so let's go this way. I'm pretty sure there's like a gold purse. Okay, there is. There's a potion and a skeleton. And this way. Which leads to nothing important. Ooh, more coin purses. That doesn't go anywhere. That doesn't go anywhere. I guess we'd better try uh, this way. There's some spooky spiders down here. Oh man. Gotta get poisoned and die. So in this playthrough, I'm also gonna be exploiting glitches such as like the uh when you go d when you get to the gray beards and then you just go crouch and then you just stab them in the back a shit ton of times with a dagger to level up your sneak i'm gonna do that i probably won't show it show me doing it but i'm gonna do it because it's that wouldn't be exciting just watching me hit a gray beard in the back for a very long time and there's also getting 100 smithing where you just make a shit ton of iron daggers I will be doing that too because having 100 smithing is very helpful when you like to wear heavy armor. And I'm pretty sure the exit is like just literally over here. There's a bear. I know there's a bear. We're gonna avoid that bear. Ooh, coin purse. Yeah, we're gonna avoid this bear. And not try to kill it because I don't feel like dying. Alright, 
nice. We made it. I'm like crouching, going all slow and stuff. But then he just fucking just runs. Look. I see he's just running along. He doesn't even go crouch. He just runs. Telling me to crouch and shit. He doesn't even do it himself. It's the way out. Yay. To Skyrim. There's like, I don't know if you noticed that, but on the left side of the screen and the top, there's like little blue bars during that loading screen. Wait. Wait. I don't know if it was just a reflection on my, like, screen or not. My sister, Kurda, runs the mill in Riverwood, just up the road. I'm sure she'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. There he goes. Looks like he's gone for good. Okay, I'm gonna listen to everything he has to say. By listen, I mean I'm just gonna skip through everything. Let's just back away from him. So for this Let's Play, I probably should have said this near the beginning of the video, but I will be playing at my own pace, so that means that I won't be doing it really fast. I'll be playing at my own pace. I've never actually beaten this game, even though on my old character on the 360, I had almost 200 hours. I never actually beat the game because I did a lot of side quests. So what I'll do for this is I'm going to do a mixture of side quests and main quests. I'll probably do a lot of like talking to a lot of people, starting up every quest. So kind of like my Dead Island Let's Play, I'll be starting up every quest, and then I'll get to doing them. I'm going to try for a 100% for this Let's Play. I'm going to try to do every side quest and every main quest. And hopefully not suck ass. So yeah, it's, it, there's probably going to be a lot of videos to this Let's Play. Because Skyrim Let's Plays tend to be pretty long. Anyway guys, if you liked this, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. See you, goodbye, and thank you for watching.